Dumb Money is ultimate David versus Goliath tale based on the insane true story of everyday people who flipped the script on Wall Street and got rich by turning GameStop, the mall video game store, into the world's hottest company. In the middle of everything is regular guy, Keith Gill, who starts off by sinking his life savings into the stock and posting about it. Well, when his social posts start blowing up, so does his life and everything that he has starts to crumble. As the stock tips becomes a movement, everyone gets rich until the billionaire fight back and both sides find their worlds turning upside down. It's going to be in movie theaters this Friday. You got to check it out. It's called Dumb Money. Uh, Seth um, Rogen is, uh, is it Seth? Right, right. Seth, Seth, Seth Rogen is the star of it and everything. But I have Lisa here with me from Desert Financial Credit Union talking about ways to save money and to make money without dumping your life savings, without getting so involved in the stock market. Um, and I was saying that, you know, what's kind of funny is that my son and I were not that involved, but we had bought the GameStop stock way back when it was really low and stuff because my son loves gaming. It was something that we did together and then it blew up and we saw that happening. But that's not always the case when it comes to making money. Am I right? You're absolutely right. It doesn't take a whole bunch of money into investing. It, it takes small, tiny steps. Um, the first thing I would recommend is, you know, if you don't have a savings account, start a savings account. Over 53% of Americans do not have an emergency savings account. And so you can simply do that by direct deposit. Don't let the money touch your hands. Yes. Um, if you have a savings account, are you taking advantage of your company 401k? That's easy way to save money, um, easy way to take advantage of that match. It's free money. And so I would definitely recommend that. Yeah. Um, and savings accounts, they typically earn the most interest. So with uh, savings, I would think about doing a higher yield savings, like yeah. a CD, a uh, certificate of deposit, or a money market account right. um, that offer higher yield interest so you can get a little bit more right. money, money back. Up. So Lisa, let's talk about something that's very important. And you said about starting a savings account, and we know what's going on right now, and that our people are on very tight, tight budgets. And you know, someone said there, well, I, I don't have the money to save, I don't have it. But I'm gonna go differently and say, you do have it because this is your money that you put aside um, to help you for a rainy day. And I think we're forgetting that. We're thinking buy now, buy now, get now, and not going, you know what? $10, $20, it's not a lot, because everyone thinks it has to be a lot of money, right? Absolutely, it's not a lot. And I can remember the first recession back in 2007, uh, not having a savings account and starting my savings account with $5. $5 every two weeks, it adds up, especially if you don't think about it and it doesn't touch your hand. Um, the other thing is, can you decrease your your spending. Yeah. You know, groceries are extremely expensive. Are you making a grocery list? Are you um, using those program savers that every grocery store has? Are you using coupons? Uh, are you cutting that Starbucks out? <laughs> exactly. Right? So there are uh, things yeah. you can do. And that's what I love about Desert Financial Credit Union's program that you have there that anybody can go do if you're a member or not, which is so great. But if you're a member, you get some extra perks there because they, they work with you very well and closely. And that is about saving money and ways to do it. And, and you just said, you know what? We talk about the coupons. We talk about different things. But also we talk about having an account there because you all of a sudden are invested in yourself when you're with Desert Financial Credit Union, am I right? Absolutely. As, as a member, you own a part of the credit union, which is awesome. But we also have lower rates on items. We also have higher savings interest rates. And so, you know, definitely investing in a credit union and becoming a member is a great first step. And it works with you. And we know in the movie, Dumb Money, it's about mm -hmm. stocks. It's about, of course, investing and stuff like that. You guys have a small little program there that you know you do work with and talk with people to guide them. Um, but again, you guys aren't stockbrokers. You're not you know, the investing kind of people, but you do know how to sit and talk with them. And that's why with this movie coming out, hopefully it draws more people to go and do the programs at Desert Financial Credit Union 
to save money so they can if they want to invest down the line. Absolutely. We do have um, advisors, financial advisors at the credit union. Um, you know, I use the credit union financial advisors and let's say for example your organization doesn't offer a 401k. Is it possible that, well it is possible, you can go <laughs> into any financial institution and open an individual retirement account yeah. and start that way. I like it. Lisa, I'm so glad you stopped by, especially as this movie's coming out, because more people are going to go see it, and I hope they do, to see the mistakes that a billionaire made, and you don't make the same mistakes, but then you get to see what, of course, some of the people did with investing their money and a little change they had, which is very easy to do. So, um, where can people find out more about the Desert Financial Credit Union programs? Uh, go to desertfinancial.com and check out our homepage and it'll guide you from there. There you go. And of course, there's locations all over the valley to go yeah. and get in there and save your money. Awesome. There you go. Thank you, Lisa. Thank